here we have all parts and tools needed to install your Talaria seat structure. So we have the left side bracket, right side bracket, seat block, stoplight fixing bracket, the lock mechanism fixing bracket. We have two M6 by 70 screws with two washers and the nut each, two M6 by 10 with the nuts, two M8 by 30 screws with the nuts, two M8 by 25, two M6 by 20 with washers and nuts, and two M3 by 10 millimeter. We also have two cable clips, 13 millimeter wrench, spanner wrench, Phillips screwdriver, and 2.5, 4, 5, and 6 millimeter Allen wrench. To install the bicycle seat structure, first we need to remove the motorcycle seat, which is fairly simple. We take our 4 millimeter wrench and we untighten these screws. Now we do the same on the other side. Okay, keep them in a safe place. We're gonna need them afterwards. Then we need to remove the screws with our six millimeter wrench. Now we repeat on the other side. Now we must open the motorcycle, the battery cover and we can take all of this part off then we need to here we have a three pin uh, sorry a two pin connector we need to disconnect it that's the stoplight connector okay and now we can take the seat off First, we remove this cover with our Phillips screwdriver. Here you have two small rubber, white rubber washers. Be careful not to lose them. And now we need to remove the stoplight. So we take our spanner wrench to loosen the nuts here. We must keep these because we're going to need them afterwards. Okay. Now we can remove the stoplight. Be careful not to damage the cable. And you can then lift the structure, hold the seat down and lift the structure here 
and you can take out the cable from here okay we do need this small nut okay now we turn the seat over we need to take this plastic part make sure you remove it from the lock here and then you just start start pulling and then you should have your lock free to take off I put this part here and then you should have um, some other bolts here same size as these so you can take the 10 millimeter socket and remove the bolts or just you just need to remove the bolts we have here in my case I have this for me six this m6 bolt so I just need to remove the lock here Remove the first screw. Now I'm gonna remove the second one. Okay, now we have our lock free. Now we are going to install the lock. On the lock fixing bracket so make sure when you're facing the bracket the holes are on the left side if you see they are not centered they, they should be on the left side and the lock should be placed in this position okay so now we take the screws these m6 screws the lock here start the thread manually these are nylock nuts so you're not gonna be able to finish them off with your hand and take the other one put it in Okay, so now we fix a position here, then we take our spanner wrench, sorry, fix the nut. And start tightening, tightening with our four millimeter Allen wrench. Now we have one ready, look for the other one. Okay, now we try to have the position there straighten. Don't tighten too much because we're going to need to adjust the position afterwards. Just so you can then move it later. Okay. Now we take our left side bracket and we take two screws 
we see that one's larger than the other one. So the larger one, it's an M8 by 30. We're gonna need to put this on the front. So we put the left side bracket here and we match the screws. The longest one should go in the front. And then the shortest one go here. Goes here. Okay, we don't need to tighten them completely yet. Now we're going to do the same procedure on the right side. Take the right side bracket, put it there, take both screws, keep the nut. The longest screw goes in the front, match the screw in the hole. Do not tighten completely. Now the other screw here in the back. Now we need to install the lock. So we take our bracket and keep pushing in these screws. You may want to lift. Okay. So now, these screws will also help us fixing the bracket position. Okay, here it moves freely. Now we take the nuts we have, and we just, we can, we can screw and put the screw back, back out again. Now we take our 13 millimeter wrench to hold on this nut. Okay, and then we start tightening the screw with our six millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, now it's set. Now it's, it's not completely tightened, but it has a really fixed position. Now we repeat on the other side. We take out the screw again. We get our nut. Okay, we start tightening the screw. Then we finish tightening it with the six millimeter Allen wrench. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my hand here so it's easier to see. Now our bracket has a good, it's tightened, but it's still slightly loose. And then we're gonna install the cover we have here. Okay, now I'm gonna take this plastic cover and get these applied screws, the short ones. Remove the nut, put the screw in there. Get my four millimeter Allen wrench. Put it here. Take the nut back on. Put it right there. Take my 10 millimeter socket. And start tightening this nut. Not too tight. We just need it there to cover these holes we we left okay so now the nut reached the end we take our second screw repeat the procedure
okay now we have this covered to install the cover you're gonna need to lift the battery cover and then just find the position for the for the plastic cover and we need to tighten both screws this one here and the one on the other side so we take the same screw we disassembled previously with our four millimeter allen wrench and find the thread there You need to match it. There it is. And now we take our stoplight and fit it this way. We take again the small nuts we we disassembled previously. To fix the stop light to this bracket. This just needs very slight tension and uh, tightening. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to fit the stop light here on the seat block. Make sure you fit the cable, it can go through the shan through the channel there. Then you take the tiny screws and just put them briefly. Okay, right there, and let's go for the other one, you may have to lift here a little bit to match the holes. And we finish fixing the screw. One, the other one. Okay. Now we can install it on the bike. We put the, the cable right here through the channel. Now we are going to fix the seat block, the seat block to the seat structure. So remember the long screws. Take the nut off. You have two washers there, so take the nut off. Remove one washer and leave the other one, one there all the way to the end. Repeat with the other screw. Take one nut off. Remove one washer and leave them all the way to the end. Now we take our seat block. We put the, the cable through the channel there. And we fit the seat block there. Now we match our screws, the holes, until it goes all the way to the other side. Okay, now we take one washer and We push here until we can see the screws on the other end. Take one washer, take the nut and start tightening. Now the other one. Okay. 
and now we need to tighten properly now you may take your seat post whichever one you have and put it into the seat block you take your seat post put it all the way in fix the position and then you need to tighten the screws totally So you take your 5 millimeter wrench, Allen wrench and the spanner wrench and you just start tightening. tighten completely now the second screw finished and now we need to connect the stop light here on the connector we bring the cable through this side okay now to secure the cables position we have supplied two clips take the the paper of the back of the sticker and we suggest we, you put one clip here and then you put the other clip here now you have the cable coming through here and here and we have a fixed position now we're going to install the plastic cover now we're going to install the plastic cover just make sure that you that you are matching this hole with the cylinder lock here you just slide it on and have those two parts match there if you see okay now it matched now you take these screws you disassembled previously take your four millimeter allen wrench and then just match the thread here Now we repeat the procedure on the other side. We match the holes. Put the screw in. Now we just have to finish tightening these screws. Now on the other side. Now we tighten these screws because they might have loosened now that you've tightened the side ones and tighten properly Okay, you're all set and we're finished we have installed the bicycle seat structure on our tail area there you go
Thank you for